All right. First and foremost, I'm going to say all honor and praises be to Yahweh Bashim and Shai Bashim Makakabdash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Moonstone and Shalom to the sincere and elect out there, teaching his truth and faith and sincerity through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim and Shai. So, this is going to be a sort so sit down and video upon this article I just saw, man. It says Russian electronic warfare firm to upgrade products after studying US tomahawks down in Syria. So this 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 literally this title alone gives us an indication that the scriptures is true and that spirit of war is it is out there, man. Because because basically countries are preparing for war and and, and 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 using every channel that they possibly can to to, to better their their equipment for this war man With that i'm gonna read uh some points in this article or we'll just read the whole article it's not too long a russian military contractor specializing in electronic warfare will use the information game from dissecting a, a u.s tomahawk cruise missile used during an attack on Syria to boost the capabilities of his own equipment. The missile to delivered to Russia after the tri-party night attack on a on Syrian government targets by the US and UK and France in April is of particular interest to Kret, a leading developer of electronic e e equipment for the Russian military. According to Vladimir Mikhev, an aide of the company's first director, uh, it says, yeah, it says, our new equipment needs to cover all spectra, optical and radio, which we found in the products of our counterparts. So, so basically, they actually, you know, Seeing, seeing how it's used. As specialists, we were very interested in seeing the real life use of various weapons in, in Syria, including the tomahawks. Now, having this missile in our hands, we clearly know what channels it uses to communicate control, navigation, ge geo location and information he explained right it says uh yeah well i mean really that's the, that is that is the point in the article man so what it is did this company itself have actually got this uh stomach cook man and they obviously you know dissected it you know right to to to, to what make the weapons and armaments of russia even stronger so that itself shows that countries are preparing for war you, you know people might say, oh, that, that's bullshit. Well, that's a prime example in 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 in, in, in combat. If a opponent exposes a flaw within himself, once you see see that flaw, you 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 then think and act upon counteracting that flaw. For example, if you know a person. Shoots a, a, a like a I don't know. Let's say let's say someone shoots a, a a jab. If he shoots his jab, right, and it's a powerful jab, but after he throws the jab, he leaves it out there, right? You've ex, you've observed his flaw. That okay, yeah, he throws a good jab, but once he throws the jab, his 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 hand stays out there. So if I move a, a, out of the the, um, the um, way of that jab. I can count them straight away, right? So you observe that flaw in order to use that flaw against the opponent in combat. The same thing with this. 
they observed a flaw in what they found and guess what they found ways around that flaw which gives us an indication that the spirit of war is out there this is um joel three and nine right it says Uh, says proclaim ye this among the Gentiles prepare war you see that wake up the mighty men let all the men of war draw near let them come up beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spares let the wheat sound strong and we see that that actually here is taking place these, these, these countries out there are, are in, investing more and more time in their Weapons of war, man. Yeah. Beat your plowshares into swords and your sword and your pruning hooks into spares. Let the weak say I'm strong. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen. Gather yourselves together round about. Did the cause that mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Right. Let the heathen be awakened and come into the valley of. The Hosephat. For there will I sit to judge all nation round about. And that that the valley itself of judgment which the Lord will bring is over there in the Middle East. That's where this war will, 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 will spark from and take place. But guess what? You're, you're going to have different theaters of war around the whole earth, man. So with that, I'm going to read Jeremiah 4 and 19. And I'm going to and then, and then I'm gonna end on this man. This is a uh, Jeremiah chapter four and nineteen. It says, "My bows, my bows. I am pain at my very heart. My heart maketh a noise in me. I cannot hold my peace because thou hast heard, O my soul, the sound of the trumpet, the alarm of war. So we as prophets of the lord man we we proclaim what what is said in the scriptures and what we see we understand and know that war is going to happen and because war is going to happen we are going to proclaim it man destruction upon destruction is cried for the whole land is spoiled and suddenly are my tent spoiled and my curtains in a moment right um, how long shall I see the standing and hear the sound of the trumpet? All right. So, 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 really, the, the key point is what is what that that we hear the alarm of war, and this war ain't gonna be fought with spears, you know, or, or guns or whatever. This foot, well, it, it, it will be fought with guns, well, but but that's gonna be you know. On uh, when when the troops meet on ground, but really, this main war gonna be fought with ICBMs, thermal nuclear inter intercontinent intercontinental ballistic missiles. Yes, this is Isaiah chapter nine and five. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Now, tr troops in past times in in, uh, in the ancient world, of course. Would meet at a field of battle and have swords, shields, and bucklers and stuff like that. But this scripture says this shall be burning and fuel of fire. There has never been a war on the planet where multiple tro troops from countries of, upon the earth have all come and fought each other with fuel of fire. That fuel of fire is what the instrument of war, the ICBM. That and, and so the ICBM itself is mentioned in the Bible. So with that, I'm gonna say all honor and praises be to Yahweh Shai. Shimon Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Moonstone. With that, I'm gonna say Shalom.